Dear colleagues and friends, as every year it has almost become a tradition, I welcome you on this place to a very famous session, and we can see it's very famous because it's full. Uh, this is uh, a session sponsored by Terumo, and we're grateful for this. Um, it is a session on complex PCI via the radial approach. We will see two exciting live cases coming from Toulouse. And John Fajadier, who is chairing this session with me, is chairing the session uh, directly from the CAS lab. But I have a very distinguished panel, Dr. Fadi Abu Yaude, Dr. Kamis, Dr. Kinoshita, Dr. Ligutko, and Dr. Famigam will be with me to discuss the case and with you. And we will have two focus sessions. One thing is very important for us, react at PCR. So this is the possibility for you to ask questions directly. We will transmit to Dr. Fashade and we will discuss with you. So please use the React, ask the question. We will take care that all these questions are answered. And without further ado, I would like to go to the presentation of the first live case, which is a bifurcation case coming from a Clinic Pasteur. It's a male patient, 81 years old, body size, body weight, all pretty normal, BMI pretty good. Um, there's no relevant past medical history, despite I think this patient is diabetic. He presented with an acute coronary syndrome um, with uh, two times spontaneous rest pain for five minutes. In the ECG, some biphasic T waves in anterior leads, sinus rhythm, uh, ejection fraction is good, some hypokinesia anterior. Diabetes, as I said, on oral medication, still some hypertension, dyslipidemia, and still a very active lifestyle with 80 one years. Now, lab findings are, uh, are quite normal, uh, except that we have a slight troponin. And uh, here you see the angiography. If you look at the angiography, you can appreciate that uh, here in the circumflex area, you can find some stenosis here. You also can find some disease, diffuse disease, and some more or less significant stenosis here in the RCA territory. But if you look at the LAD, you can clearly see diffuse disease from this segment on, also with a diagonal. You see a, a LAD diagonal stenosis here, very critical, Medina 111. And to give you a better impression, we also have a moving image. So you have an idea, you also see something which looks a little bit, no, maybe not too much calcium. And here you see the still frame again. Now, the strategy for this case will be to treat the LAD D1 lesion, which is the most prominent. We have the anterior hypokinesia. And um, so we have an 81 year old diabetic patient with a significant LAD D1 stenosis, Medina 111. And uh, it's three vessel disease, but the most critical is in the LAD D1. And this will be treated today. So we are trying to switch to the CAS lab now. We are okay, so we will switch to the gas lab now, and without further ado, go to the live case. On est prêt, mais je vous je vous le dirai quand est-ce que ça sera bon. Ah, il dit est-ce qu'on switch parce qu'il a annoncé qu'on allait switcher. Tu veux? Mais switcher alors, switcher, c'est bon. Allez-y. On est bon. S'il l'a annoncé. Hein. Oui, il l'a annoncé. Hello. Hello Jean, this is Christophe here with all the panel. And uh, hello, Bruno. Um, so hello. we see you, hello, and maybe you hello, want to explain hello. what you do. We just uh, talked about the patient. OK. Thank you, uh, Christophe, for this nice introduction. Uh, may I have the, maybe the, the first slide? Because we are just in a moment to catheterize the, the artery, just to resume the key objective. So it's a treatment, as you mentioned, of a quite complex uh, LAD diagonal bifurcation lesion, Medina 111. So part of the setup of the patient is a six French uh, transradial approach. Uh, we will use an extra backup 375 guiding catheter, and not 35 because he has qu quite larger aorta. We will use two wire predilatation, and then uh, move probably to a two stand strategy. And if we use a two stand strategy, it could be a tap technique, but we can discuss uh, with the panel due to this particular uh, setting of the anatomy, what technique we can uh, 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 and address for this patient. So about the product that we will use is for the, the, the balloon from Terumo, the, ta, uh, the, the Rayuai, which is a semi-compliant balloon. We'll use also probably the Tazuna for a, a non-compliant balloon and the new stand, the Ultimalter Tansai. 
So probably we can have now a nice view of the lesion. John, maybe you, you, you may come. Yeah, you can. Uh, I don't know if you see the lesion. Can we show that? Yeah, we see it perfectly. If we want the screen, s'il vous plaît. Ah, oh, you have the, the okay. ah, you have it. You have it. Oh, Sorry, oh. because I have not the image uh, that you receive. Yeah, so that's uh, the. We are working uh, via six range uh, transradial approach. Uh, there was absolutely no problem uh, to uh, take the radial artery here. Si la caméra peut suivre. Uh, and uh, we placed a six range uh, new. Uh, uh, to remove uh, introducer. Uh, on the six wrench, we have a six wrench uh, catheter. It's a XB curve. We start for, uh, with a uh, 3.5, but it was too short. And uh, we move to the 3.75. And here we have a good, uh, a good support with the guiding. Here is uh, the lesion. Can you see it? Yes, we can see it beautifully. Christophe? Yes, we can okay. see it beautifully. So can you hear me? So here is a lesion, and uh, yes. Yeah. So uh, you could see that the, the lesion uh, is a little bit calcified. It's a quite a long lesion mm -hmm. on the LED. Uh, critical, uh, critical uh, 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 at the size uh, of the bifurcation of the diagonal. And you could see that it's a really high-grade lesion. Uh, in this uh, diagonal uh, LED bifurcation. So uh, what we could do is to take another view in the uh, LAO uh, cranio, a little bit more LAO. But we could work in this view. Eh? This one is, was RAO cranio. I think that we, we can move a little bit more LAO. OK. Uh, we show you here. OK, and then uh, try to uh, uh, get uh, a good view. That's uh, that's the, the the lesion. So it's not a, a big, uh, you know, a big uh, diagonal branch. But the problem is this diagonal is diseased. And second, when we are doing uh, this kind of uh, bifurcation, what we want to do is to uh, avoid to lose the side branch. So, Bruno. Uh, can you explain uh, the strategy that, uh, that we will uh, do? So we will use? Put first put two wire, one in the diagonal to protect it and one in the LED. Uh, then we will probably to do a predilatation. After the predilatation, we will reanalyze what happened on the, not only on the LED, but on the diagonal, if there is any worsening or not on the diagonal. And then we will, uh, after this, uh, this first predilatation, we will uh, reassess the lesion and discuss what could be the strategy. Here we have uh, multiple options. We yeah. can discuss to uh, remain uh, provisional, saying that it's a small diagonal. We can uh, after put uh, also to, to move to a two-stand strategy, saying that uh, we will not uh, uh, lose this diagonal because there is already a critical lesion, and we can lose it if we not, do not stand it uh, uh, from the beginning. So there will be multiple uh, options. I think it's interesting because it's clearly a situation where you are a little bit mixed. It's not a large diagonal, but there is a critical lesion. And it's probably a situation where you know the options are not so clear. Yeah. So uh, for us, uh, and you could discuss that uh, the, the the technique that we could use for this uh, bifurcation test. Uh, not Jean, easy. Yeah, uh, really we have a first question from the audience uh, about the lesion preparation in this patient. Yes. Uh, is it reasonable in such a test. scenario to start with rotablation? Uh, in the main vessel? Uh, rotablation, I'm, I'm f yeah, we can uh, take a, a, a small burr in this particular case. In other words, to uh, take a 1.25 millimeter burr. Uh, but, uh, you know, when I look at the distality of the vessel, it's not a large vessel. No, no. And I am afraid of uh, first the dissection, second the distal embolization. So uh, I will try with a small balloon. And uh, I know that with a new balloon uh, from Terumo, uh, we, ha we have the possibility to have a 1.0 balloon. And this could be uh, 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 interesting for the, uh, the diagonal. 
So here we have a one wire in the LED. LED yeah. And now we will try to place the second one. This will be tricky because it's 90 degrees angle. It's 90 degree angle. So and uh, the, the diagonal is easy. So, so the wire are the, 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 the standard Terimo wire. Uh, we will see the, for the angulation, I try to have a 90 degrees angle here. Uh, but it could be difficult with the double angle. And then we will see if we can do that. Uh, if not, we could predilate gently the, the LED and try again to advance the, the diagonal wire. Yeah, again, uh, we will see. This the is important. Uh, this is an important tip. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you cannot uh, enter the side branch, then do some predilatation, create space, and then you might be able. So I, I agree this is very important. Yeah. yeah. So for this... Uh, Lesion, I will take the, the torque. So it's the run through wire from Terimo? Yeah, the two run through wire. Run. So there was no problem for the distal LED. Uh, here we will see. Uh, but the run through, it's a nice wire to do this kind of uh, you know, tortuous vessel, acute angle for the bifurcation. So we see that we are really proximal to the, the diagonal. So I advance slowly. And now try to turn clockwise. Doesn't matter. It doesn't work. Maybe in another view because that's you are no more. No, I'm not in. A, I have to take a, a more support into more support, more intubation. Second, place the distal. Okay, here okay, the LED is more distal. Test. Here is better. So we are really proximal to the to the bifurcation, and now I try to uh, very slowly try to change the orientation of the tip of uh, the wire. Uh, and a little bit by moving back the wire in order to reduce uh, the resistance. Difficult, yeah. huh? Whoops. We, we can nicely see how your, how your wire tip Test. forms on, and, you, uh, and has the tension this is something we can nicely appreciate here. Okay, here. Oh, this no. looks good. Yeah. <laughs> I was test. Ah. Test. I'm in two distal. It's something. If not, I will change the. Maybe change the view sometimes. The, the view. Uh, okay. We can change the okay. view and take a uh, REO uh, cranial. And maybe the change also the, you know, the angulation of the distal tip of the wire. Sorry, pas à essayer le truc. Okay. Test. Ah, uh, it's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. The problem is the 90 degrees. Of yeah, 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 angulation. yeah, yeah. And uh, I think there is a possibility also to advance a microcatheter, maybe, uh, and change the curve of the wire, what do you think? Yeah, it's a possibility. I think that the, the advantage here, of the here, micro... It's not too bad yeah. here. Test now. It just, yeah, a little bit... Here. Okay. I'm just in front of the... You can take a picture of that. Ah, no, a little no. bit more proximal. Too proximal. So normally it's better to place a wire before ballooning, but uh, in this particular uh, lesion, and we know that we select this patient because of that uh, bifurcation, which was difficult. Test. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Could be. Yeah. No, you were. There's, no. a, que there's a question from the participants. So what I can do first. On, yes. on, on the type of wire, and, and go just on, to on. mention, it's the run-through wire. Uh, from Turumo, which is used here in, in yes. diagonal and LED. Yeah, yeah correct. Yeah. We confirm the use. Two run through wire. Two run through wire. I think it's a challenge. So your first intention is now to reshape what the wire. Huh? So it's a challenge to wire this uh, diagonal also, also because you lose torqueability okay. because of the angulation you get from the left main into the LED. Yes. And one way of, of yeah. uh, getting yeah. around this is to use, for instance, a twin pass catheter. 
that that would that might be helpful also to to navigate into the diagonal. Yeah, we can do a twin pass or uh, a micro catheter and change the wire, yeah. uh, the the curve of the wire. So we will see. We will see. But it's, uh, it's we we know before eh, that it would be uh, difficult to do it. I think the important the important learning is that we can try something three, four, five times, but then we need to think how what what do we need to change in order to uh, be potentially successful. It doesn't make sense to try it ten times, twelve times, fifteen times. Just uh, now, this is first the shape yeah. of the of the wire which is changed, and the difficulty is if you have a wire which is more curved, it's also more difficult to bring it down in the in the tight vessel. Test, yeah. Okay, now it's not too far. It's here. Yeah, you are down. And normally, bit. I try to. Uh, Test Let again, or maybe uh, to remove the LED wire. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And wire the most difficult first. Yeah, but sometimes it's very difficult to. Yeah, at the beginning, uh, my intention was to place the wire in the diagonal, and uh, and in fact, the wire went to the LED. So, uh, but maybe to. So what I will do is to remove the LED wire, proximal to the to the bifurcation here, and try now to uh, take the diagonal test. Sorry. No, no, we have to point on top. It's here. Yeah. It's really 90 degrees angulation. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, problem. Yeah, that's and the problem. Uh, as mentioned, uh, one of the panelists before, there is a lot of curve that's making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very difficult to, you know, we have not uh, the, the normal response of the, of the wire. Because of all these tortuosities. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and now the issue and now I'm is. Afra I'm afraid if I. A potential issue now is that you get entangled around the other the wire yeah. because you are. Oh, that's this nice. looks good. No, proximally. No, no, it's ah, okay. It's this good. looks good. Yeah. Now, yeah, it's not yet done oh, yeah. because. Uh, it's uh, not uh, finished because yeah. now we have to take the curve. Yeah. yeah. And the problem is, you, you do this with rotation, John, uh, or how do you enter now? You try. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> it's by chance. No, we have to be honest. <laughs> if, if, if there was something particular, I will tell you. <laughs> no, no, it's true. It was something particular, I will tell you. But here, uh, thanks God. Yeah. I can say that it's maybe me myself when I inject the contrast. Huh? <laughs> could be, could be. Okay, so now. There was a question, Jean, from could the be. audience Sometimes about it's true, the. Eh? You inject uh, the contrast, yes. There was a question from the audience about the uh, double lumen microcatheter uh, support for this difficult yes. side branch access. Yeah. Now we have to go. Hello? To yeah, yeah, yeah. We have yeah, a we question have. about the. Yeah, but uh, we have lost the sound. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the, the question from the audience is well, about you, the you, double you lumen microcatheter. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. I think to answer that, any microcatheter can help. Yeah. Uh, what does it help? It helps that you can develop a, 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 a stronger curved uh, uh, wire at the position um, yeah. of the ostium which you want to enter. So. Truly, yes, it can help. The double lumen can help, and also a single microcatheter can help uh, as an anchoring point. But you see the difficulty now. It's very easy when you now manipulate to lose the side branch wire. So there's a lot of tension. Oh. Yeah. See? Yeah. Now we have okay. to wow. work very, very slowly because. Uh, if not, ah, it could be difficult. Okay, here, test. Hmm. So we can take a picture of that yes. in order to see where are the wires. Uh, yeah, I have wiring. a small diagonal in the distality. I will try to uh, place my lady wire. Okay, in, okay here, more distal. Okay. So, yeah. uh, Christophe, what do you propose now? 
Well, now, yeah, you, you're asking for the strategy. What, is, uh, what, what should be the next step and what should be the strategy? Maybe a, 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 a quick poll. Nicholas, what do you say? Well, in this kind of challenging uh, anatomy and a difficult wiring of the diagonal, I would, I would first start with a small balloon in the diagonal just to make sure that there is some space and then I would uh, go for provisional standing. Okay, pre-dilatation, pre if possible, provisional. Yeah. What do you say? Jacek? I would uh, start with uh, uh, main vessel dilatation and then, as uh, Jean said, I okay. would assess, reassess the ostium. It was quite difficult to get there, but it was because the disease in the main vessel is also uh, quite severe. Uh, still, I believe that for this relatively small diagonal provisional approach is reasonable. Do you have an opinion? Yes, the major bulk of calcification is at the origin of the diagonal here. So we have to begin by dilatation of the diagonal and then dilatation yeah. of the LAD and we'll see if we have a good result, we'll discuss the standing uh, and crash, uh, begin by the diagonal, then the LAD, I think so. Okay, Dr. Kineshita? Yeah, if I'm an operator, I may, uh, I may perform the kissing baron technique before the standing here. So the, uh, of course the, the diagonal, uh, so the, uh, so first the diagonal branch, the uh, uh, dilatation is, uh, I think, better. But uh, in this case, the region is uh, one, 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 uh, very complex and a uh, little bit severe, a uh, little bit classified region. Mm. So the, in most case, the kissing baron before yeah. standing right. is better. Okay. So Jean, the, the strategies are not so clear. Some say vote more for provisional, yeah. keep it simple. No. Some maybe it, we need a, a, a two-stand technique. But everybody votes for pre dilatation I see this is what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, and we start, uh, there was a comment to start by the diagonal is what we yeah. try to do. We changed a little bit what we planned initially due to the yeah. difficulty to cross the diagonal. So yeah, I think that's uh, now we have to work, uh, you know, according to the and select the strategy according to the uh, the response uh, of this uh, artery to the the different uh, predilatation and okay, not this is not too bad for the diagonal. What we can do is to use the same maybe balloon yeah. for the LED first, and then yeah, the, yeah. maybe move to the provisional. We yeah. will see. Uh, it's more. I think it's a little bit more clear now that we have done the predilatation on yes. the diagonal. So we need uh, the same balloon. Or you will take a 2-5 maybe? Or 2-5. 2-5. 2-5 balloon. Because 2-0 is a bit smaller. And it's two calcified, five. so I will uh, prefer to use the 5 Yeah, 2-5. Yeah, 2-5 uh, balloon. Long, 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 long. Yeah. 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 And the long one, eh, because yeah. it's a long, long plaque. plaque. 2-5 by 12. Uh, twenty. Twenty. Long plaque. Yeah. 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 Long plaque. Yeah. And then we will see after this predilatation what to do. I think there will be uh, different options. Uh, stand the LED and leave the wire uh, jail in the diagonal. 30, 30. 30, give me a 30. Yeah. And then uh, see what we need to do for the diagonal. The, the second option will be, uh, uh, you know, Start by the diagonal you know, doing a mini and crash. start uh, a sort of mini crash, a DK crash, mm -hmm. in order to secure first the diagonal because of this angulation, and then finish by the LED. Uh, the advantage of this technique is that uh, you secure first the diagonal, which is the most uh, difficult uh, to, uh, to treat. And we saw the, the difficulty that we had at the beginning with the wire. Yeah, there, um, there are actually, Jean, there are so two questions see. from the participants uh, 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 on these difficulties yeah. to enter the side yeah. branch. Uh, and these questions both aim a little bit if, yeah. if these difficulties to enter the side branch determine your strategy. Rather, you would think of a mini crash or something because you don't want to have this problem again. Or, or um, Does this affect your strategy, these, these difficulties you had in the beginning? Absolutely, 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 yeah. absolutely, because, uh, you know, we could also say uh, uh, we will use the uh, a single stand strategy, uh, uh, place a stand in the LED, and then if the result uh, do a kissing, then the pot, final pot, and if the result is not acceptable on the diagonal, to do uh, a tap technique. 
But I'm not sure that uh, we could recross, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, and place the wire inside the diagonal after placing a stent in the LED. That's for me, it's the, the difficulty. Uh, okay, we can take a view. Okay. Ready, Bruno? Okay. Um, uh, sorry, I will uh, try to be a little bit more. Okay, in the inside the left main, we can repeat it. So, not too bad, huh? Uh, definitely, uh, we need to work uh, on the LED. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can do that. Uh, try to do the uh, tap, uh, uh, LED yeah. stenting and then uh, do the tap. Uh, yeah. If, if we it need it, because if it needed, if the result is stay like this, we will like uh, we'll we will respect. So it. concerning the the stent, uh, so we show you again the the I'm balloon. Sorry, the this this angiogram, as you can see, the uh, wire bias yeah. in the diagonal branch is uh, in the in the plug. So if you put the stent like uh, uh, in this state, in this state, maybe the in in many cases, the, I think that I am afraid to compromise on the diagonal branch. As you can see, uh, yeah. so could you show me that? So uh, you you uh, okay. you are afraid that uh, they will, if they stent the main branch, they will occlude the diagonal branch. Yes. So by shifting the carina. Yes. Okay, yes, so, so yeah, it's a risk, and I think this is a discussion point that uh, Jean Bruno have at the moment. Um, oh. Can they trust the yeah. result they, they achieved on the diagonal branch? So could you show me the right, last one? Could you, could you make a yeah. loop, last angiogram? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this one, at our, sorry. That's the beginning. That's a balloon, 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 and that's a, uh, another one. Okay, this one. Yes, as you can see, the just ostium of the uh, diagonal branch, the wire is a completely white black. So it means uh, around the uh, yes. around the bifurcation, there are many many uh, amount of the black. So if you put the stent uh, in this state, maybe the I. I think the uh, the possibility of the compromise of the diagonal branch is uh, uh, could be. Mm. Yeah, let's see. Now yeah. it could be. Yeah, it could be. But uh, now this this addresses now another question of the participants: How far to stand proximal? And uh, you are trying to cover the entire segment yeah. because it's diseased, right? Yeah. 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 Attend. 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 Merde. No, no, c'est bon. What size okay, and length here. is your stent now? Six. That's a 2.5 by 33. 33? 33. 33. Yeah, 2.5 by 33. And uh, it's okay. I go Pressure at 12, down. Yeah. not too much. In Pressure order. down, and then we, put, we post delay okay. with uh, 275. Yeah. Well, that maybe, maybe three. And zero. all three zero in the, within the stent. And then we will see. Donnez un 3-0 uh, de 20-25 mm. The ballon. Same balloon. Oui. Yeah. Non compliant. Hein. Oui. Je ne sais que c'était bon. Okay. Picture. Envoyez le ballon. It's not too bad. Eh? The diagonal is still there. The question is about the, the distal plaque also. Eh? There is a plaque distal no, to the, the stent. No, the distal to the, the stent, yeah. The, there, is, there was a plaque in the, in the also second. in the in the curve when you see the baseline angiography. So for the moment, the, the diagonal is still open, so we can continue with the uh, usual strategy, usual step after, yeah. after doing the, the stenting of the main brand, that is to do the pot, because we select the size diameter of the stent in accordance to the yeah. digital uh, diameter. And that's important eh? because now we have decided to place the stent in LED. So now we have to optimize yeah. eh? the, the stent the deployment uh, using the pot. So here uh, we are, I think we have the distal marker on the bifurcation test. Maybe eh? ah, it's OK. And we can do that first inflation. So it's a three millimeter balloon. We can go up to Maybe 14. We are a bit distal. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can pull back a little bit. Pull back a little the, bit, yeah. The marker of the balloon should be just after yeah. the, the side branch uh, I will wire. Just like so it's a kind of long pot, like what this. you're doing yeah. now. In order. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
And uh, we will uh, inflate the balloon up to the proximal end of the stand. Uh, now it's 14, 16? 16. 16 what? atmosphere 16. with a free zero. 16. 16. 16. And uh, what we can do now is to just have a look on the... Correct here. Okay. Go on. 18. 20 atmospheres. So it's a 3 zero. 3 zero. So non complaint five, three okay. zero. Now with uh, three zero. 20 atmospheres. So are there any thoughts, because it comes from the so participants uh, again, a question uh, about protecting the side branch with this trap balloon technique, um, trapping a balloon in the side branch? Uh, do you ever do this? Any experience with that, uh, Jean or Bruno? No, no. I, can, I know that uh, we can do okay. that, but uh, normally we no, don't do that. Uh, no, we are not doing that, because when we do trapping balloon, that it's main that you are occlusion of the side branch. And in fact, it's a very rare event. It's less than 1% of the case. So that means that you will trap a balloon, use and the balloon, for a risk that is less not than, I will say, 5% of the case. So maybe in this specific situation, it could be discussed. But in a normal situation, because side branch occlusion is very rare, I don't feel the necessity to do a trapping balloon technique. Timing, come here. The common question is, and it comes also from the audience, uh, is it safe to use high pressure La proximal Régis. optimization with the wire in the, the trapped wire in the side branch? Yeah. What's your approach that's in a, this? That's a very good comment. Uh, effectively, uh, in, in you have many, effectively, what we can do in this situation is before doing the pause dilatation is to pull back a little bit the, the side branch uh, jail wire till the radio pack, for example, uh, marker. And at this moment, you will have a less uh, length that has been jailed, so it will be easier after to remove the, the jail wire. So it's probably something that we can have discussed before is to pull back a little bit the jail wire till the, uh, till the radio pack marker, for example in order to have a, a length that is shorter, and that means that the, the, the risk of uh, deep intubation of the guiding catheter will be less important. Okay, so now we advance with the third wire, uh, with the same uh, wire, yeah. uh, terimo wire, the run through, and we will try, after the port, to uh, place the wire inside the, the diagonal. So I go as we do uh, usually, distal to the bifurcation, pull the wire. So it's a pullback uh, maneuver. The, 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 the moving from problem distal the patient to... patient is uh, sleeping on the table <laughs> and it, took, it takes deep inspiration. It's uh, very difficult. A little bit higher. Uh, I think it's a little bit more proximal. Here, no. No, more proximal. More proximal, eh? yeah. Just one more. So, you try to come from yeah, this side, pull back, but, uh, and to fall in the side branch. Yeah, we try to do that, but uh, mm. we like to fall, yeah. I would like to fall, yes. <laughs> 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 okay. Just okay. Here it's not too bad, but I need to, uh, you know, turn the wire. I cannot. That's a problem. Up no. nah, here. Ah, this look good. Not too bad. Just yeah. now it's uh, the route, the good direction, the good. So now we have to slowly turn the wire. You see, very very slowly. It can take a deep inspiration, should be nice. What do you think? Yeah, it's, you are just uh, in the yeah, entry. Just in front, in of, front the, of the stealth. Uh, yeah, it's not too... So could the LED wire also be used by pulling it back? That's a question from the participants. Yeah, yeah. that's true, yeah. Uh, what we can do is uh, we feel, uh, we f believe that the LED wire, also it's a problem to manipulate uh, this wire, you can remove it. Now the LED is uh, fixed by the stand, so there is no major risk to uh, remove the wire. 
Here it's not too bad, eh? so, uh, but uh, it's good. very. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, I cannot, and you see, I cannot uh, advance. Maybe changing the wire yeah, or uh -huh. taking. Uh, no, yeah, it's good. okay. I cannot take a deep breath, he's sleeping. <laughs> I think we are in, huh? Yeah, you are. Uh, the yeah, problem no, is to uh, take, the curve uh, uh, take the curve, Good. advance. <coughs> I lost, uh, you know, the, the force. The the force. Okay. No, here, yes, okay. 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 It's yeah, a matter of patience. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so now we have to remove the the right one. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no mistake. <laughs> huh? The one with this one. This one. Oh. Okay. Do you see the? Okay. There. And it's you see, uh, we, we yeah, pull yeah. back the, 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 the wire, but there was some engagement of the guiding, but not so much. In no, fact, no, it's okay. It was okay. So now what you can do is to do the balloon inflation yeah. through the struts. What do you think? Yeah. You want to do a view first? Yes, or? we can. Okay. Uh, okay. Just reassess everything. Okay. Not too bad. Eh? Not too uh, bad. I will say that maybe there is something to do on the stand. Yes. And then we will do the key scene. The, I, I will maybe optimize a little bit the stent result yeah. just in front of the diagonal. There is yeah. like a pinch. Yeah, but what you can do is yeah. to do the kissing, no? Yeah. Okay, we can do okay. a kissing with a 2 0. So 2 0 for the diagonal. Balloon yeah. 2 0 by, uh, it could be 15, something yeah. like that. The one that we use. And the uh, 3 0 balloon. Yeah. The, the balloon that we use for the diagonal, for the LED. So then the two inflators. Yeah. Okay, so if we have any question, uh, we are preparing the, the material for the kissing. Mm, there are uh, okay. two uh -huh. questions from the audience. First is uh, about the distal disease. How would you like to treat this? Distal to the standing yeah. LED. Yeah. It's um, something that we have discussed uh, before. Uh, okay. C'est quoi ça? 3-0? Ou 2-0? Okay. okay. Uh, we have discussed the case, you know, uh, uh, before, and the decision was not to Negative. treat the distal lesion; was really to focus on the yeah. on the on the pr on the bifurcation LED diagonal and to leave the distal LED uh, in in order to avoid a very long stenting. Yeah, it should be a too long stent. Yeah. That's that's a problem. Uh, we try uh, to avoid a too long stenting. Let's uh, see if the two zero millimeter balloon is. A yeah, he's crossing. You okay, see, very crossing. nice profile. Huh? Very yeah, nice yeah, profile. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very nice profile because it was a uh, reused. It was it's a reused. Huh? Yeah. We used uh, it's the same balloon that we used uh, at the beginning, and it crossed uh, very easily. The okay. So two zero, uh, Bruno. Uh, yeah. You can uh, what? Eight Fourteen, eight, eight. Eight atmosphere. Yeah. Just uh, you know. And at the same time, we will prepare the three zero. zero. So we can leave the two zero inflated in the diagonal. Oh, Le trois zero. Zero. And uh, we will take the three zero now. I think that in, so in this diagonal branch, uh, we can try to do have a long inflation because it's uh, yeah. maybe the best uh, chance. To yeah, have, uh, that's avoid uh, uh, the reason stent, why huh? we continue to inflate in the diagonal. You see, Bruno uh, did not deflate the balloon. For the moment. We will, for the moment. We will try now to advance the free zero. Maybe we will have to deflate when the, we will uh, approach the, the bifurcation. But anyway, in the guiding, it's okay. I descend. It's okay. Look. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very low profile. Huh? Easy. Very okay. easy. I think it's okay. Huh? Okay, here. Okay. So six for me. First, the, diag the diagonal. Six. And then you can go to high pressure. And for now the LED. we have to do high pressure because uh, there was this problem at the. Uh, it's so it's 20 atmosphere, and I come back to 12, and you can do 12 also. Yeah. 12 and 12. Okay. 12 and 12, and diameters are three zero and. Uh, and two five. And two, two five. zero. Two zero Sorry. three zero. Two zero two zero. So we have four. Two zero 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 two zero. Two zero. Two zero. Two zero. Two zero. No, no, no. Ah, no, no, five. it's two zero for the diagonal, sorry, yeah. and three zero for the yeah. Okay, so the total is five. We okay, are so I remove uh, the diameter LED. of three in the main vessel now. No. Picture. Yeah. It's difficult bad, because yeah. you have the two balloons. <laughs> yeah, but it seems good, eh? Maybe you have uh, to remove the balloon. 
Yeah. I, w I will remove uh, at least one balloon. Maybe the, the provisional stenting strategy yeah. will be the, the right uh, option. Eh? Yeah. Uh, if we have a mm. good flow in the diagonal, uh, we, could, uh, we could accept that. So I remember, you know, there was a comment of uh, many years, many, many years ago, but this is still true. A uh, comment of Antonio Colombo when we were talking about uh, bifurcation, and it was saying, my strategy is simple. When I have a large side branch, I need the best angiographic result. So if I need a stent, I always place a stent. And uh, when I have a small side branch, the goal is to avoid to lose it during the procedure. And I think that we are in this particular case. What we want is to avoid very to lose nice. the... It's not a very big one. It's a 2.0... So. Vessel. I think it's not too bad, eh? what do you think? Yeah, I think that for the bifurcation, I don't have any doubt, it's correct. I have maybe a, a, f a thought about the proximal part of the stent that could be maybe a we bit more improved with a 3.5. What do you think? A 3.5, 3.25? A 3.5, yes. It's only 3 5. just at okay. the proximal part of the... Not touching the... For okay, me, the, so the bifurcation uh, is okay. What do we I do a final part on yeah. the... with a 3.5 millimeter balloon? Yeah. I, I absolutely agree that 3.5 for proximal I think that really optimization uh, would be the good choice. Now, the question is how far could you take yeah. up this yeah. C2.25? How far can you take it up? Ah. You mean the diagonal? Uh, no, uh. no, no, the stand in the main branch. Uh. Uh. <laughs> how far can you take it up? Because it's. Oh, the, the, I, think that the, I think that with the. Uh, yeah. The, the ultimaster stent, you know, the, I think the 2.5 could reach, I think, 3.7 millimeter. It's 1.2 uh, <laughs> above the, 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 the yeah. reference size diameter. So I think that there is no matter of problem no. using yeah, a, a 3.5 here. Yeah. That's a very good range, and that makes it a good tool for bifurcations, right? Jean, it, it would be nice if you, if you tell us again this? how you position the balloon for proximal optimization, because there was also a, another question from the audience, how to position exactly the yeah, distal okay. marker of the balloon. So. So uh, here, uh, we know we will uh, use the stand Vs uh, in order to see where is uh, the proxy, because right. the full the calcification is difficult to see. So we will see. Uh, I think we can go up. Huh? We can go up. It's calcification or uh, the stand? No, uh, no, the stand is a bit higher, I think. We will see. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly. You see, we, we will place a little bit higher in order to place a proximal marker. Uh, just at the uh, the proximal end of the stand, yeah. and then we will do the we will do the the opposite. We will descend to place the distal marker at the site of the bifurcation, just above the bifurcation. Just when a little bit above. In fact, what we try yeah. to reach is to have the distal marker when we have the the, the, the separation of the two wire just Send after this. the separation of the side branch wire. Okay. It's approximately at the level of the carena. So I pull back the, the balloon. We uh, so are doing uh, uh, again the stand Vs. Ah, it's okay here. It's okay. You see, we can do it now. So to answer to the question, the distal marker is the uh, is the, uh, the, the the point that you want to reach exactly just uh, at the level or just yeah. under the side branch uh, uh, wire. So. It's good. Yeah. 14. So we can deflate. What was the pressure? 14. 14. So, and now we will advance the balloon just to place the distal marker a little bit proximal. Eh, yeah, the, yeah uh, the we have already used a 3 0, so I, yeah. I will not touch too much. Okay. I think it's. You can stand this? No, I think it's okay. We see the separation of the two okay, wires. I don't need it. You see, we are. It's okay here. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are not doing the, we are not exactly at the level of the carina, we are above the carina. The timing, la régie, la combien de When we want to do the pot uh, exactly, it's a little bit down, just after the, the separation of the two wire. Good. Okay, so now what we will do is to uh, take a view of that. Yeah. So I remove the, the balloon. At present time, we leave the two wires in the uh, distality. Yeah. Okay. Ready, Bruno? Okay. Okay. Very it's nice. Not too bad, huh? It's very it's nice. Fantastic. I think it's not too bad. <laughs> it the is a wonderful CV3, result. Uh, the distality. So we, what we will do is to remove the two wires. Wire. 
uh, inject some nitroglycerin. Yeah. You have it? And repeat the angio, one in this view and one uh, in the LAO cranial view, which was LAO cranial, you remember, the most severe. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will show you again uh, the baseline angiography. Uh, this is the RAO AP cranial. This is the RAO cranial. And this is the LAO cranial. So, and now we will repeat the same views. Ready? Okay. We have some overlap. Yeah, the there is some overlap. Maybe we can uh, go maybe uh, 24. It was a little bit more area, no? More area, yeah. No, sorry. Okay, here. More area. We go? Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Huh? It's even an une uh, unexpected result yeah. because we're looking at the, and at LAO the anatomy. And LAO cranial. So there was a question at the beginning on the distality, but for the distality, I think that uh, we will leave like that. It's a distal LED. What we want is to uh, avoid uh, to have a very long stenting because uh, it should be really too much. Uh, it's easy to do. Eh? We mm. can place a long 2.5, predilate with a 2.5 millimeter balloon, place a long 2.5, but I'm not sure really that it should be the best option. Beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. You also have 81 year old diabetic I think we patients can accept that, uh, yeah. who might react not so well on yeah, long yeah, you see, uh, 81 years. Yeah. 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 I think, yeah. On peut prendre la latérale, peut-être. Oui. We can uh, take uh, the final view <coughs> in lateral uh, in order to see the distal LED. So uh, there was okay. one question from the participants on the use of DB in the side branch, either up front or later. I think uh, with this result, um, would you think of using a DB in these patients in the side branch? Why, why not? Uh, could be uh, 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 an option. Uh, it's a small vessel. Yeah. Is DB better than the uh, balloon? <laughs> the balloon is DB better than the stenting? Uh, it's a small vessel. It's true that, uh, but we try to avoid the stent. And then uh, why not? Uh, why not? Oops. We are not using a lot of DB in. Uh, you see, it's not too bad. Eh? The, the distal yeah. uh, LED is it correct. Is uh, yeah. yeah, what we, we try to do is to uh, come back to the, the previous one. Here we can see very well the, the yeah. bifurcation. And on this one, uh, yeah. this is certainly the best of you. Uh, I think we can, uh, from here, from the cat lab, we think yeah. that we can accept the res this result. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think, uh, Christophe? Yeah, no, uh, let's say my point of view, I think it's a very good functional result in an 81 diabetic patient. Um, the critical stenosis uh, is, is gone. And I, from my point of view, uh, uh, in my lab, I wouldn't do it because a lot is uh, then also cosmetic uh, in, in such a patient. But let's, uh, let's ask the panel. Jacek, what do you think? I believe it's a beautiful result. I'm happy to see that the provisional strategy worked in this patient because we have small diagonal and I, I'm always a little bit afraid yeah. to implant another stand and two stand strategy on patients with small yes. uh, side branches. So Absolutely. it's it's Absolutely. perfect result and I, I would stop this procedure now in 81 years yeah. old patient in NSTEMI. Do we have so. any other opinion? No. But uh, I yeah. think the panel largely agrees. So, wonderful result, John. Congratulations from our side. Really well done. That was perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe one, one final question, because we are in the pass. last minutes of the transmission time. We have some three minutes okay. left. Yeah. Um, yeah. One, one question was about the imaging. So somebody suggested OCT, somebody IVIS, use the stent vis. Is stent vis in your practice very often uh, 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 a help and maybe also a replacement for these invasive imaging techniques? I think that we use uh, Stenvis in almost all our procedures because it's very simple. It uh, does not add too much uh, uh, cost for the, <laughs> for, the, for the procedure. So uh, effectively, Stenvis is a standard use in, in our practice. 
Uh, we are not using OCT and IVUS in clinical practice, and to be n honest, why? Because it's an additional cost, and uh, our institution, we cannot this afford for the price of 100% uh, of OCT or one on or for IVUS. We use only IVUS or OCT when we have any doubt about yeah. the final result. If we have a doubt about the, the good expansion of the stent, if we, we have a doubt for maybe a, a distal dissection or a proximal dissection, then we will use for this specific situation the intracoronary imaging. But uh, to answer to the question, stent V is quite systematically, uh, IVUS and OCT, very uh, extremely uh, rare uh, occasion. What is, okay. what is your strategy, so, Jean, for non-culprit vessels in this patient? Would it be the second stage of the procedure? Would you follow patient clinically? What would be for Sergen right? Yes. Yes, uh, so, certainly we will follow the patient clinically. Again, it's a it's 81 octogenarian uh, patient. patient, diabetic. We so we have I think yeah. we, we treat the culprit lesion. Yeah. For the non-culprit, I think that it's a quite old patient, and we can uh, wait for the clinical follow-up of the yeah, patient. Yeah, I fully agree. OK, fully so agree. thank you very much. You want to summarize? Uh, we, we thank you for this transmission, and uh, we, we will see you in a few minutes. Huh? OK, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah, OK, see you. In see the, you. In the other cat lab. OK, bye. bye. So that, that was the first very interesting case. I think there's, there was a lot to discuss. And thank you all for participating so lively uh, at the reacted PCR. I hope we could answer all your questions. We are now coming to uh, uh, also a very interesting part. We will have two sharp focus uh, uh, presentations um, on scientific results and on some tips and tricks uh, in complex PCI. The first will be given by um, Emanuele Babato. And uh, it will be um, uh, about the Ultimaster results in multivessel disease patient populations. Thank you very much, uh, Christophe. Thank you for the kind invitation and uh, for the privilege to share with you these uh, important results of Ultimaster in multivessel disease uh, patient population. These uh, results are mainly coming from two studies, the Century 2 and the E-Ultimaster. The Century 2 was a randomized clinical trial enrolling uh, more than 1,000 patients either to an Ultimaster or to excise drug eluting stent implantation. The subgroup of patients with multivessel disease represents more than 40% of the patients originally included in the main Century 2 trial. Of these patients, we have, of course, the primary endpoint data of target lesion failure at nine months, but we have also clinical outcome data up to five years. The E-Ultimaster is a real-world registry enrolling more than 37,000 patients. The multivessel disease subgroup represents within the E-Ultimaster registry more than 5,800 patients. Of these subjects, we have the clinical follow-up data available up to one year. These are the baseline clinical characteristics in both the registry on the left and in the randomized clinical trials on the right. As you can follow through the figures here, these are patients representatives of our cat lab daily clinical practice. Uh, there were up to one third of patients with diabetes and uh, patients with acute coronary syndromes were also well represented with some higher number of patients presenting with STEMI and non-STEMI in the registry as compared with the randomized trial. Lesion and procedural characteristics. There were nearly three lesions per patient in both the registry and the randomized trials, though the number of lesions treated per patient were little less than uh, two. There was quite a number of complex lesions represented in both studies, uh, with type B2 and C represented in 60 to 80 percent of the cases. Interestingly, bifurcation represented 10 to 15 percent of the lesions recruited. These were the number of stents implanted per lesion, nearly two, and the millimeters of stent implanted per, um, per patient were up to 40 millimeters. These are the results coming from the one-year clinical outcome of the combined EU Ultimaster and Century 2 
uh, uh, patients. On the left, you have the registry data. On the right, you have the randomized clinical trial data. This is the primary endpoint, as we said. 4.5% at one year target lesion failure in the registry, quite comparable to the finding observed in the randomized trials, around 5% in the Ultimaster um, uh, stent, uh, within the range of events that were observed with the comparator science. Stent thrombosis was uh, low, below 1%, 0.9% in the registry, 0.4% in the randomized trials. These excess in stent thrombosis of the registry uh, perhaps were reflecting the higher rate of patients with acute coronary syndromes, syndromes as we observed before. This is the uh, DAPT rate at uh, one year and five years. Uh, the recommendation uh, was to prescribe uh, DAPT at least for six months. This is just for your remind in the randomized trial. We have observed a similar rate of DAPT at one year, both in the registry, around 60%, and in the randomized clinical trial. At five years, the rate of DAPT was ranging around 10 to 15%. Now, I will uh, report you the long-term clinical outcome data that, as I said before, are only available for the Century 2 randomized clinical trial. The benefit with the Ultimaster drug limiting stent were confirmed and persistent up to five years, as demonstrated by a target lesion failure of 10%, as compared with the 13% in the comparator science. Uh, stent thrombosis rate remained exactly the same up to five years, less than 1% in the Ultimaster drug limiting stent arm. Since we were uh, treating during these uh, live sessions bifurcation, we also thought to include some data on bifurcation lesions uh, that were coming from the Century 2 trial, where the cohort with bifurcation uh, represented 194 patients, and from the e Ultimaster registry, where the bifurcation cohort accounted for up to 1,600 patients. And these are the data up to one year, uh, target lesion failure rate in line with the result of the multivessel disease population and in line, with, as far as we speak about the randomized clinical trial, with the data observed in the comparator science. Uh, stent thrombosis rate was low in both registry and randomized clinical trial arm. These are my conclusions. Evidences from randomized trials and real-world registry consistently uh, support safety and efficacy of Ultimaster drug loading stent in high-risk patients with multivessel disease and bifurcation lesions. Favorable results up to five years further corroborate the safety of Ultimaster drug loading stent in this challenging lesion setting. Thank you very much. So, uh, th thank you very much, Emmanuel, for this very great presentation and for keeping the time also, which is, uh, which is hard when you present so many good data. Um, just uh, one short thing, I mean, a remark, and maybe you can say if you agree. Andreas Grunzig said in the very beginning um, that uh, there's nothing uh, against treating multivessel disease if we have one day the right material. It looks like we have. I, I completely agree with you. Yeah. So, with modern material, many more things are possible and are safer for our patients already not only material, and for the right uh, uh, lesion selection and patient selection. We know it's not just about stent, it's also where to implant a stent. Today we have all uh, the equipment and armamentarium at our disposal. Okay, thank you very much thank again. You very much. Thank you. And now we come to the next focus talk, um, which is also um, uh, short and uh, focused, but uh, it will be uh, of very practical relevance, so moving from science a little bit to tips and tricks. and. Uh, Andreas uh, Bambach, as newly elected president of EIPCI, is here also to share some experiences about uh, the use of microcatheters. I thought they are only good for CTO, but you say there's a lot of use in complex PCI. The title I've been given, five minutes, a micro talk on microcatheters. Now, what <laughs> we've just seen is that you don't really need microcatheters if your name is Jean Fajadé. If your name is Jean Fajadé, your wires go wherever you want them and your balloons and stents will follow as if by magic. For us mortals, me and all of you, we should really look into microcatheters because they can help us complete procedures uh, elegantly and uh, they are really uh, important tools for complex PCI. This is just a quick overview. How can a microcatheter support a guide wire? It's about concentrating the rotating force for better wire control for once. Rather than have your wire floppy around in the distality, uh, you can focus the steering with the presence of a microcatheter. 
It improves the wire pushability significantly. And it can provide superior device passage. And with that, uh, we have applications. And as you said, Chris, uh, we know microcatheter use for CTOs, complex CTO integrated approaches for wire exchange, increased support, uh, puncture of the cap. The retrograde approach is unthinkable without microcatheters to go through the collaterals and, and support wire exchange and finding the wires back. But also complex, tortuous distal lesions can be reached better and steered better with the support of a uh, microcatheter. And then complex bifurcation, like the one we have just seen, um, a microcatheter, particularly a dual lumen microcatheter, can help us there. So just a picture, this is a Terumo session, so I chose the fine cross, but we know there are many others. This is a picture to make one uh, statement, and that is microcatheters are technology. They are not just a tube. There's a lot of thought and a lot of engineering that goes into these uh, fine uh, lumen uh, catheters, and that includes the design of the tip for stiffness, steerability, and for the tapering that makes them cross lesions that we would otherwise not be able to pass. And then, of course, we also have here the fine duo as an example of a uh, dual lumen uh, uh, microcatheter. Uh, this one has double markers that facilitate an accurate placement. I'll show you an example in a moment. What these catheters do goes actually beyond, and that is, is news for some of us, it goes beyond just facilitating uh, side branch access. Of, of course, they do that very well. But you do the same route, you go the same route along with the first guide wire, so you basically produce parallel wire or body wire, um, and the over-the-wire lumen <laughs> enhances the second guide wire maneuverability uh, and provides much greater backup support. This is an example um, kindly given to me by one of the chair persons, Jacek Ligutko, uh, done in Krakow, where they had trouble initially uh, passing back into a, uh, a side branch that had been uh, jailed with a stent, and now it doesn't work. Nevertheless, they managed with the use of a fine duo here, where they were able to just accurately place this dual lumen uh, catheter until the angle and the uh, second guide wire were in line to cross more or less back into this uh, diagonal. So one example, at least in the short time, to show how uh, these microcatheters can facilitate um, procedures. So we have two types of microcatheters, not just one. We have single or dual lumen with different strengths uh, uh, towards them. Uh, one supports uh, more and the other also gives the additional access, but also has more support. Uh, it's there for the choosing, but they're a very, very important tool, which is the take-home message, really. Microcatheters play an important role in complex PCI, unless your name is Jean Fajardet. Single lumen microcatheters give guide wire support and improve handling. Dual lumen microcatheter can make guide wire exchange easier and act like two microcatheters and they can improve side branch access, and guide wire support and penetration force will become greater compared to any over-the-wire balloon or standard microcatheter with these uh, fine duos or similar. With that, I'm done with my micro talk. Thank you, much. Thank you very much for your attention. So, uh, Andreas, thank you very much, and also thank you for keeping the time with this complex uh, uh, topic and uh, being so practical and showing us some examples. One question maybe, so if, if I try to bring the, the, the concept into one sentence, it's so microcatheter is not there to provide more force, but to, uh, but to be able to deliver the guide wire or to develop the guide wire from another angle, from another point, or how would you state it? I think what it does, it, it transfers the point of action to where you need the action in terms of turning, pushing. It does give you more, more, more force, but also side branch access. What it does is it's, it extends your reach, and the action of the wire is where you need the action, rather than, than you know, being, uh, uh, being hampered by all the way in, and, and then in the end have an unsteerable wire 
uh, tip at the far end. It, it drives the action to where the action needs to be. Okay, thank you very much. I think this made it very clear. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And I, I hope that the Cath Lab had a very short time um, to, uh, to prepare, but I hope they are ready. We will see in a second. Um, so it's another patient which is treated with a bifurcation lesion. This um, gentleman is also 81 years old. Um, we can see that the body mass in this is significantly different. It's uh, 33 kilogram per, meter, uh, per square meter. Um, and um, the patient has permanent atrial fibrillation. This will raise some interesting discussion points. So far, this patient has been asymptomatic. Um, and, uh, but in the exercise stress back, he had anterior lateral ischemia um, with about 18% of myocardium being affected. Now, risk factors, the usual ones, except um, uh, diabetes. Very active lifestyle with 81 years, and I think this is what we are facing more and more, um, uh, senior patients with a lot of active lifestyle. Nothing particular uh, in, the, in the lab findings, maybe a little bit uh, reduced creatinine clearance. Um, and this is the baseline angiogram, and you can see that there is uh, some disease here in the circumflex, a little bit intermediate stenosis here, and something which looks like a significant stenosis, maybe on the RCA, some intermediate disease here. And then if we look at the LAD D1, again, we see a stenosis. It is completely different to the disease we saw before because this patient was also diabetic. So not so diffuse, much more circumscript. It's a Medina, Medina 011 lesion. Um, and uh, we clearly have a uh, main part of the stenosis here in the LAD. Um, and uh, also, but uh, which you don't see because now here is the, the yellowish line, but you will also see on the live image there's significant stenosis in the mid segment of the diagonal. Um, now, um, here you see the moving image, and here you can uh, already appreciate uh, this mid segment diagonal stenosis, and you can see that we clearly have a bifurcation lesion. Now, summary 81 year old. This time, non-diabetic patient, three vessel disease, somewhat uh, less diffuse than the previous patient, but clear anterior ischemia in the relevant areal, Medina 011 lesion, and needs to be treated. So we switch to the lab. Is the lab ready? Okay, so let's uh, see what uh, they do in Toulouse with this patient. Ah, yes, I have contra. Yes, hello Jean, we see you again. Uh, we are back with okay, the second good, good patient. Okay, good morning again. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I have the, really the chance to work. Uh, I changed a partner. At, uh, it was Bruno Farrar uh, in the other room. Here is uh, Benjamin Anton. Uh, so Benjamin is uh, leading the, the peripheral program with Antoine Sogue in our center. And, uh, but he's also doing, of course, uh, a lot of coronary uh, procedures, and so it's a real pleasure to work uh, with him. Uh, I think it's the first time at a uh, PCR meeting. It's yeah. the first time for me. Uh, but this is uh, between us. But uh, So, now, uh, what we could uh, do, we are working uh, to tell, just to tell you what will be the, our strategy. Thank Benjamin. you, Jean. So you, you've seen the presentation that we are dealing with uh, a, a, a beautiful uh, bifurcation on the LED and the diagonal with a huge diagonal uh, which have to be preserved. <coughs> there is, it's a kind of Medina 111 uh, lesion zero or 011 lesion. And so we want uh, with uh, Jean to preserve it with a two stand strategy. And so we have the discussion what kind of strategy we are. Probably uh, we will go on a, a decay crush before because of the angle of uh, the diagonal. Or a tap, this could be a, a discussion. Uh, so right radial approach, six French with a, a extra backup uh, uh, 3.75, and we are going to to perform it. Yeah. So I, what I will uh, show you again the the view that we have already taken. So again, we are using the uh, six French uh, right uh, radial access uh, through the special uh, uh, radial uh, artery kit for radial frontal removal. The guiding is uh, a six range uh, XB uh, 3.75. 3 and with this six range 3.5, uh, 
the uh, the support, the backup on the the, the the left main is quite correct. And then we have the, this uh, the problem today, uh, which is the bifurcation and involving you know the diagonal. But the problem of the diagonal is a long diagonal, but there is a long disease, long disease. Uh, which is at least, uh, uh, if you start from the ostium uh, of the diagonal to the small bifurcation of the diagonal, uh, it's around 33, 34 millimeter. So I think that if we want to treat, we think that we will have to pl pl uh, place a long stand. Um, and the because we need a long stand implantation on the diagonal, uh, we will use the DK crash because for the top, uh, of course, we could place a, a stand from LAD to LAD, then do the pot, but and then advance the, the long uh, uh, diagonal stand. But there is this tortuosity, two tortuosity, proximal to the lesion and then distal to the lesion. And we could have some problem to advance the, you know, the, the, the stand through the first one. So that's the reason why I think, we think that it should be better to treat, to secure the, the diagonal and treat all the long lesion of the diagonal and then move to the LED and using uh, a DK crash technique. Okay, this is the, the strategy. Okay, so now uh, what we could do uh, is to advance the, the first uh, run through wire. Uh, this is the, so the lesion, we uh, can store that. Uh, we advance the first uh, wire. We are already in the guiding catheter. Uh, test, sorry. Uh, we try to, okay, have a good uh, view here. Uh, so, uh, what we could do is to uh, uh, tr try to, uh, we, we, okay, here, we move to the diagonal. <coughs> In the meantime, we, what we will do here, we measure the length. Mm -hmm. so we take a view. You see, this is 30. So, it could be 33, it could be 38. What do you think, uh, Christophe and all the group? Oh, exactly. I, I think this is a very nice uh, tip and trick uh, to use the tip of the wire to measure lengths of, uh, uh, for, for the potential stand. And I agree with you, it's a little bit more than 30, so it will be a, a stand which needs to be longer, 36 yeah. something. Um, I think that is clear. Okay. So you wire now 30. first diagonal and then so you, you the wire the LED. The first, yeah, that wire yeah. is in diagonal. Mm. Now we place a second wire in the distal LED. What do you think about the strategy of a DK crush? We are pretty <coughs> convinced with Jean that the angle of the diagonal and the two uh, lesions on the corp uh, is, uh, is a good option for the DK. Yeah, I, I think you gave us a very nice reasoning, um, and uh, let's let's see how the how the group feels about it. Um, maybe Jacek, you you can tell us uh, uh, DK crush for this patient with this reasoning. Uh, I, I, um, yes, it's a good option. The, the, the diagonal is at least 2.5 or even bigger. So I believe that DK crush strategy would be uh, good here to first treat diagonal and make the procedure. Uh, just safe for the patient. Niklas, any comment? Well, I think it's important to be familiar with, a, with one or two good two-stand uh, strategies, and typically I would, uh, I would go for it. I'm, I'm very much in favor for a T and, a, and small protrusion, but then you have to make sure that you protrude just uh, uh, wide enough. So I think if you fail to do it, you will not cover the bifurcation, and if you do it too much, if you protrude too much, you end up with a crush. So it's sometimes it also ends up in semantics. And uh, Dr. Kinoshita, what, what do you think? In fact, here uh, the anatomy so is not that? too right. difficult. Uh, we can choose uh, many options. We have many options here, but definitely here I choose the uh, DK crush because we have to secure the 
uh, diagonal branch for the beginning. And uh, we have to pay attention about the length of the stand we have to use uh, in the... Uh, personally, I would go uh, for at least 38, 38 millimeters to be sure that we cover all the lesion of uh, the diagonal. Okay, so, so I think the, the, uh, Jean has started to, to work there, so predilation in the side branch. What balloon mm -hmm. are you using there? So the balloon is a 2.5 uh, millimeter balloon, uh, 2.0, sorry, 2.0 by 30. By 3. Uh, the balloon is a Terry Moore uh, Rio Ray uh, balloon, the new one. 2.0, um, so 30 You millimeters. inflate it up to 14, uh, 14 atmospheres. 14 atmosphere. It's just to, you know, to open the lesion. And uh, so then the next step okay. will be to, okay. are you ready? Uh, sorry. Uh, in the connection. So some okay, people we come back again. Some people are are, uh, are Very saying good. it could be also culotte in this patient. What do you think about that? Sure, that's a, that's a possibility of the culotte also, because uh, uh, the size of the two vessels is not there is no major difference, and so uh, it could be at the end a 2.5 millimeter stent in the in the diagonal. And uh, for the distal LED, 2.75, something like that, and 3.5 in proximal. Uh, so the culotte can be, can be also uh, used. Another question Good is on the, on the French side. So, so now, so next step. So se seven French yeah. catheter may be Benjamin. better for this complex yeah. disease, yeah. Or, or do you do all of your cases yeah. then with the six French? Okay, this is uh, the diagonal. Okay. So okay. The next step will be to stent uh, the diagonal. So. Probably a 38 millimeters length, 2.5 diameters will be enough. What do you think, Jean? Yeah. 2.538 Ultimaster. 2.5 by 38 uh, Ultimaster Tensei. <coughs> and probably we will crush the stent with uh, 3 millimeters on the, on the LED. I think so. Okay. So you saw that uh, first uh, the two wires. Second, the predilatation in the diagonal. Third, now we will advance the stent in the diagonal branch with a protrusion uh, of the stent in the LED. That's the reason why we took a 38 millimeter uh, length, a 3 millimeter, 3 fois 15 ballon, in order to uh, be sure that we have enough uh, stent length. To do to do the the crash and to position the, the the diagonal stent in order to have the crash. So what you can do is to take a view of that. You see here we are sure that uh, we are taken covering the distal lesion. Uh, we are sure that uh, we have a, a good uh, uh, length for the crash in proximal. Maybe we can forward the stand a few millimeters. Maybe. Yeah, it's what I've done. We can take another view. I push a little bit the stand here, and now we can deliver the stand. So again, 2.5 millimeter, 38 in length, and uh, Benjamin is okay. going up uh, 12. It's not necessary to uh, deliver more than 12 atmospheres. Then we will deflate uh, the uh, balloon. We will pull back a little bit. Jean, when uh, you use the, the, the six friends, you usually do a sequential one. implantation stent and then balloon crush. Um, are you are you sometimes yeah. parking the yeah. balloon in the main vessel um, in yeah. order to crush? There, there, there is a two possibilities. You normally uh, you have to park the balloon first, deflate it, leaving deflated in the in the LED. Three, three. Uh, the second option is to do that if you have uh, a large LED, proximal LED, larger than the, you know, the stent that we have used. This is the case. At the end, the LED will be 3.5. So we remove this, and now we advance the 3 millimeter balloon. 3 by 15 millimeters balloon. 
And something which is important is when Jean uh, will crush a stent, you should remove before the guide wire because you yeah. can crush it. You can. Uh, you you can. So uh, you, you have the two possibilities. It yeah. depends of the you know the size of the vessel. Ivier. In proximal. So Ivier. Yeah, uh, I think it's a lady. Yeah, sorry. I look at the wire. This is a diagonal. And here is a LED. Every time we have to review, uh, be sure that we do not do the mistake. So not jail a guide wire on the DK crush. Yeah, it is better to remove everything. And again, the, you know, there is no risk because the, the, the diagonal is uh, fixed. You have the stent inside, so uh, you can do it. So we will see if the, we can cross. Normally we do it sometimes. Uh, in this particular case, we cannot. Uh, so to give me a 2.0 balloon. Sometimes we do it, but uh, many times. Depends of the, OK. Give me a 2.0 or 1.0. Usually Give me a short one, 1.5 millimeter balloon. Usually it's better to, to have this yeah, balloon a, parked you know, in the main vessel. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. What we are doing, it's uh, normally we, we park the balloon. And, the and when we have, uh, well, in the case of we have a major difference between the size in proximal vessel, major, uh, main vessel, uh, we sometimes we don't do it. If we experience such a problem as we, as we have now, maybe it is reasonable also to think about the change yeah. of the strategy because still we can do the culotte here. Uh, sure, sure, but uh, we have to open more. Uh, so this, if we change, uh, we can pause delay in order to have a, yeah. a large, uh, you know, uh, inflation of in proximal, proximal yeah. to the bifurcation, and then uh, to use a culotte. Yeah. This is uh, the other possibility. Maybe we will do it, you see. If I cannot, Atta, wait a second. Yes. If I cannot uh, cross like that, that's uh, the, the other option. It's to do a culotte. You are negative or not? Right. Ah, curious. Normally, normally it's cross. Huh? I am on the right wire. Huh? Yeah. Well, if not, we will do the culotte. Huh? Yeah. If I cannot do it, test. We take a picture of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, in fact, it's uh, due to the eccentricity mm. of the of um, the lesion, you see. Yeah. And uh, pro the proximal uh, main yeah. vessel has I also the disease, zero. so probably we have the, the, the stand which is already yeah, at, yeah, 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 yeah. It's attached to the vessel wall, so, so maybe it's better no to problem. do the pod and just go for culotte yeah. now. Yeah, so I will try with the 1.0, and if the 1.0 is not uh, uh, crossing, we will, we will uh, change our strategy. Uh, but sometimes, you know, in certain cases where when you lose a side branch, uh, we can do uh, on the jail wire yeah, advancing I, a, a balloon. Eh? It's, uh, I also think th this is a very but nice this learning. Is different. This is a very nice learning. Number one, we speak about yeah. uh, it may be good to, to park a balloon. On the other hand, we also see that the techniques yeah. somehow one goes into the other. So now from here you could go to the culotte okay, um, or you can go from provisional to tap. Okay, so if you understand uh, how these techniques uh, yeah. work together, right. um, this makes it, uh, it very good to handle uh, such situations. Top. But obviously they were cross, able yeah, uh, now to Bend cross the with the small balloon and now try to crush um, the stand to keep on the DK crush technique. It's yeah, fact, and this looks know, good. Uh, the quality of the balloon now are so uh, so good. It's like uh, we can do that, and uh, there are some techniques sometimes to uh, advance when you cannot uh, take uh, a side branch in the bifurcation. You cannot, well, you will lose a side branch, and if you have the jail wire, you can advance a balloon on the on the jail wire. And uh, but of course, uh, uh, we talk about very sh uh, small LED. balloon like this one, and this one have a super profile. You know, it's. Uh, uh, the new uh, Pure uh, from Timurimo. Maybe it's I just. It's 1.0. Yeah. 
Maybe I just answer a quick question from the participants. It was, if the long protrusion doesn't make the decay crush more to, uh, to uh, culotte, well, you can then turn, if you have a long protrusion, turn it into culotte, which we just discussed. But as soon as you crush it, it can never become a culotte you, because you will move the stent to the side, and then now you will put the, the main vessel stent. So the question uh, there is yeah. rather how much is the protrusion for the crush if you crush it. Otherwise, you, if you wanted to turn it in a culotte, you should have left it open and go through the proximal stent then uh, uh, yeah. to, the, to the main vessel. So this is no more possible now after crushing to, to go back. Yeah. Good comment. Okay, we go. So we're going back with the two bin balloons. Two zero, two zero, and uh, normally we will do it with a two zero. We open with a. It's curious. Okay. Okay, here, go on. Twenty atmosphere. Huh? Twenty, twenty-two. Okay, normally it's done. Down. Okay, we prepare the three, s'il te plaît. And we try to see what happens with the, you know, the balloon already inflated. And you see, uh, there is some. Uh, okay, go on here. Twenty, twenty-two. Maybe we didn't open correctly, you know, yeah, the proximal end see. of the stand because uh, the stand uh, again is a thirty-eight. It's quite a long one. Uh, so. Yeah, the three. So give me a three millimeter balloon now. So you see, uh, sometimes I'm doing this to go quicker, faster, and at the end we lose time. Uh, this uh, is the. Would you like to withdraw the wire this from the side mistake. branch before you go so for free o crushing? Uh, Sorry, but I would didn't you, catch your you, question. Would you uh, withdraw the wire from the diagonal before you crush the stand with free balloon, or just yes. you, you leave yes, this? Yes, abso absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But you can leave when you place your balloon, you can crash better. So when you will place the stand, absolutely you have to remove it. Yeah. The free zero didn't cross, eh? it's yeah, difficult, okay. so, so we are, but uh, there are some frequent. Okay, go on here. Go, go to uh, 18. Okay, 20. Stop. Okay, now we have to remove the, the diagonal wire. On prend un stand de 3 par. Uh, the stand could be. Uh, what, 275 or 3-0. Uh, free zero. Free zero. It could be a 3-0, yeah. Could be a 3-0. Uh, no, 3-20. Okay. Or f we have 20, uh, it's okay. So, okay. Uh, this is the LED wire, and now we will remove the, the diagonal wire. Okay. So there is no, no problem for that. Now we can do take a picture. Are you ready? Yep. Just to see how is the, the lesion now. Okay, there is a small oh, dissection good. you see with the balloon on the, the diagonal. The balloon was a 3 0. So we will place a 3 0 millimeter 21 stance, uh, but uh, quite with a moderate pressure. And then we will do the, the pot with high pressure in proximal. So, so one question if you would do the next front step front. For, for the decay. Um, would you now rewire, or, or yeah. are you just placing the uh, the stand for the main branch and uh, go away from the DK and just do the the mini crush, traditional mini crush? Yeah. Uh, so um, problem is that uh, we uh, we could do the the single crush. We want to do the DK with a double kissing balloon. Why not? Why not? Yeah, because uh, I tried to change the strategy the first time, and uh, in fact, it failed. I show you that uh, sometimes uh, when through. you try to innovate, uh, this is not working. So you're right. If we we we, we will uh, use the the the, the standard the uh, 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 way uh, to perform the the ballon the crush. Plaît. Un 2.5 par 15 et un 3 par 15, s'il vous plaît, 9.
So you're absolutely right. The interest of the decay crust is to make an initial kissing after uh, yeah. after the crush to open and facilitate uh, the recrossing at the end. The but final kissing, yeah, because we have the layers of. Uh, doesn't matter. Thousand. Okay, test. Be to yeah. be sure that the wire is in the LED. Not sure. It uh, could be uh, a, a small branch. No, it's okay. The important this So this is the... Yeah. <coughs> you see? Test. Which wire uh, is right. it? No. Same wire, it's so a run-through wire. wire. Okay. Run through wire test. It's okay here. Oh, okay, the okay. Point five, the yeah. point five. Two point five. Two point five. The first kissing. So we place a two point five on the balloon in the diagonal. And what? Three zero. And three zero the in the LED. Three zero in LED. It should be okay. And then we will finish by the, after stenting the LED, we will do another kissing, and we will finish certainly with a 3.5 millimeter for the pot. Okay. So it could be a tricky step to, to cross the balloon, yeah, okay. perfect. Yeah, sometimes that's a problem of uh, yeah, the other kissing through the... Okay, okay good. Now, second, uh, second balloon on this wire, three zero. Pardon. Un prop, un run through neuf également, s'il vous plaît. Mais que des ballons neufs, là, hein? vous faites pas là. Deux minutes. Hop. Ah. Non, On a le temps de finir. Okay, and I think the wires are twisted in the catheter because I have some difficulty, you know, to advance the balloon inside the catheter. And so sometimes you have this kind of a problem. Sometimes you have to remove one wire and uh, rewire again the main or the, or the side branch. Okay, here we can. Not too bad. We can pull back a little bit the, the diagonal or so. Okay, here is okay. 2.5. Allez, 6. Six on both. Six on both. Eight, ten, twelve on both. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Uh, do you use non-compliant okay, balloons? Stint, Pressure the kissing. It's very too short. Compliant. Huh? Is it non-compliant non -compliant or compliant, compliant balloons? That was a question. It's a non-compliant balloon, which it's is a yeah. mandatory for, well, for this kind. Sometimes, to be honest, we use a semi-compliant. Eh? Yeah. It depends, but uh, here, today, it's a non-compliant. Hello. Yeah, so the main idea of this first kissing is to open the struts which have been crushed to have it easier to recross after placing the stent in the main branch. So the next step yeah. then will be uh, that the stent will be placed in the main branch and they need to recross again then. 21, so to Okay, so uh, for the, we will uh, use a 3.0 and uh, we post delayed at 3.5, so we have to cover, implant the stand in the LED proximal to the, sept, the small septal. So it could be uh, 20, around 20 millimeter. 20, 24. 3.0, mm. 3.0. Three Three zero, ça okay. c'est 21. Ok, 3-0 uh, mm. by 24. Mm. 20. I prefer to, to, to have the, yeah, because we inflate the balloon, the two balloons, etc. Yeah. Ok. Good. On the LED. LED. Ok, so, merci. As then we will, uh, the where this is a diagonal one. Every time, uh, I need to uh, verify on which wire we are advancing the balloon or the stand. And 
12 ballons, s'il vous plaît, pour le pote. Now we'll uh, prepare. You see, I have a difficulty here in the guiding catheter. So, uh, since the beginning, I think that the wires are totally twisted in the guiding. So, it's quite difficult. So, I now John is a good time here. because you, you need to remove the wire from the side branch when we stand the main vessel. So, you can remove it and then introduce again. So, you will. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. I, have, I will follow your advice. Mm. When I will remove, I will remove out of the guiding, totally. and then yeah. I will recross it. Yes. Yeah. Totally, because uh, it's not normal to have this kind of resistance inside the guiding. So here, what do you think about the position of the distal marker? I, th I think a we little bit more distal. Yeah, no? More distal. Yeah. yeah, we can cover more distal. I think so because yeah. there was a little dissection, and when you have a dissection, okay, it it's better to yeah. take, take one view again. Here is better. Okay, it's perfect. And we have uh, we have room enough for the pot. Okay. And now okay, Now I have to remove the remove the wire. The wire of the yeah this one, and normally we leave the wire inside uh, the guy, but here in this particular case I remove everything. Okay. Test one more time. Okay, I think it's good, and we can inflate, okay. inflate the stand. So this is the crush now of the first stand with the second one. Ten. Not too much, because I want to avoid dissection distal to the bifurcation, distal to the stand, pressure down. So when I say moderate pressure, is around 12 to 14 atmosphere, but we never to take uh, 18, 20, or 22 atmosphere. Okay, here. So now, I will take a view, and then we will advance again a wire uh, to recross okay. the bifurcation and place the wire in the diagonal. You see, it's, yeah. it's good. The advantage of this technique is uh, we secure at the beginning, the diagonal. And this is the, the great advantage of this technique. Would it be reasonable, Jean, to do so now first have, uh, pot and then rewire? What do you think? Now pot and then rewiring? What do you think? Yeah, we can. Uh, we, t we took uh, the free zero up to 14. Uh, we can take the, the, the balloon of the, the it should be a 3.5, short. Yeah. Uh, before rewiring, it will normally uh, facilitate the recrossing. 3.5 by 12, non-compliant. Okay, we have it here. And it's true that uh, uh, on this, in this particular technique, I try sometimes to change a little bit, you know, to try, just to try. And when you try to change the, you know, the standard way to do it, in fact, you lose time. Uh, it's, not a gain of, uh, it's not a gain of time. Here. OK, go on here. A little bit more proximal. Here is OK. So I place, you see, the distal marker just at the side of the bifurcation uh, in order to uh, open the strut, second, have a, a full uh, and okay. complete position of the stand on the vessel. Maybe we have to go f just up. Uh, What I will do is to look if we have any resistance here. What we can do is to do the stand the vis in order to see where is the proximal end of the stand and uh, compared to the proximal marker. Uh, can we see it? Maybe we can do it to be more proximal. It is more proximal, I think. Uh, no. No, 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 no. It's just, uh, just like that. Yeah. Okay. Go on, one more time, I advance it. Okay, 3.5, 14. 14, 16, 18, 20 atmosphere. What you said, Jean, is very okay. important. That with, this, with this pot, we trois. facilitate yeah, rewiring because we get better yeah. position of the stand in the proximal main vessel and we open sure. the cells towards the side branch. So. Now it would be much more easy and safe to, to rewire to the cert before the final kissing. We hope so. But it's true. It's true that uh, when we do the, the port for all the bifurcations, 
really uh, it facilitates uh, the crossing of the. It's certainly one of the major, uh, you know, advances in the treatment of bifurcation in the last 20 years for me. Yeah, in the port, yeah. really changed the life. Okay, so now we place the. Uh, the wire here, we are sure that we are in the LED uh, stand. I pull back, so do not ask me if it is approximate the <laughs> distal uh, uh, We cell. can just comment that with DK crash, we should try to, to find the <laughs> proximal strut, which is opposite to what Alors, we do with provisional. Exactly. But, but this is the really opposite difficult. of the standard, you know? And uh, try by integrated approach eh, and not by uh, distal to proximal to find the proximal. This was the reason why I, uh, I made this comment. I uh, was sure that we will uh, explain that uh, for the test. No, no. For the, the DK crush, it's better to use a proximal, uh, but really, to be honest, it's difficult to know if we are. So uh, now we have the two wires. Each wire in the one stand. So, next step we do the kissing. The, the final kissing before the report. The final report. So, so the 2.5 millimeter, .5 millimeter for in the, diagonal, the diagonal and three millimeters, not to oversize the distality. Three in the millimeter LED. for the LED. And then we will finish with a 3.5 short balloon, uh, because uh, it's a short uh, eight, nine, mo less than 10 millimeters. Less than 10 to do the final pots with the 3.5 millimeter. Okay, here is <coughs> the okay, balloon the for the diagonal. Perfect. Now, the balloon for the LED, 3.0. Three zero. Now there's again the question, will you later on think to evaluate with IVAS or OCT? Um, we heard your position about that. Is there anything different in this case? No, but uh, if you want to do uh, IVUS, we can, uh, we can evaluate. We have the, the IVUS machine uh, not too far. Yeah. Uh, but in your practice, again, you wouldn't use it routinely, uh, well, right? No, in the, in the current practice, I don't use it. Uh, but we finish with high pressure every time. Uh, and this, I think, is the most important. Picture? Sure. And OK, uh, we can pull back a little bit here. Go on. 8 and 12. OK, go on. OK, sure. We go 8 on both, 10 on both. That's enough, eh? 10, no more than 10. OK, pressure okay. down. And now we will see if we, uh, if it's OK or not. I need one more wire here, OK. It's important to finish with the final report in this case. So, uh, as uh, Jean said, we will use a short balloon. Yeah. Not to be. Picture. We need a short one. Eh? Too yeah. much in the bifurcation. Okay, fine. It's not good. It's not too bad, huh? Eh? It's not too bad. And you see, definitely, uh, uh, in proximal, we need a 3.5. What you could see also that is a diffuse disease. Look at the size of the left main. It's at least 30% uh, stenosis uh, along the, the left main. Because when you look at the size of the vessel in LED 3.5, the circumflex is around 3. The left main will be at least 4.5 millimeter. And uh, really, the size of the left main is not 4.5. So it's a really diffuse disease. So now the final part. What do we think? The wire, we can you remove the wire from the diagonal. Eh? You can, of yeah? course. Normally, we can. Do it. Uh, Jean, so there will be the, another discussion so about the antiplatelet and antithrombotic yes. treatment in this patient because we have a, a patient with atrial fibrillation probably on anticoagulation. Uh, yeah. For how long would you lose? Uh, would you use aspirin and clopidogrel uh, in this patient treated with two stent strategy yeah. for LAD and diagonal? 
That is a, it's a great point because uh, he has atrial fibrillation. And so uh, for this particular patient, it should be a, a double antiplatelet therapy for three months. And, uh, and then after three months, we will continue the anticoagulation therapy associated with uh, uh, the Plavix test. OK, so stand, uh, can we do uh, stand Vs in order to be sure that uh, the, the balloon is inside uh, the left main? So uh, inside the stand, sorry. Uh, and okay. to be sure that the distal marker is not uh, involving the bifurcation. I think it's OK. We can pull back a little bit. I, I, I hope so. It should be better. Yes, I think we have to remove one millimeters. The yeah, we can. This is good. And this is good. I pull back a little bit. Test one more time. OK, here is too much, maybe. Uh, can we do uh, another view? Yeah. I want, because we need to have a, a final part really efficient with a high pressure. But we need to be sure that the two markers are between the proximal. OK, here is good. OK. And uh, the second one is not uh, interfering with the, the bifurcation. OK, we go. And here we can go up to uh, 18. That's fine. Down. Very good. A little bit more. Yeah, yeah here. Distal. A little bit more distal. Uh, here, go on. Okay. 18 again. So you see uh, the time that uh, we take, we spend uh, to optimize the, and this is what something that we do uh, definitely in, the, in routine practice. We uh, use a lot of pre, we use a lot of uh, high pressure for the post dilatation. And uh, in parallel, we do not use uh, the IVUS or OCT in the very few cases, sometimes on left main. Go on. It's beautiful. Huh? And look at the diagonal. The lesion is uh, co covered. The small, small, the, small septal, the, the small branch is zero. OK, so what we can do now is to remove everything, inject some nitroglycerin. It's done. And uh, now repeat uh, the views in this view and uh, LAO, LAO. LAO cranial. Do you, did you inject Sorry, uh, right. nitro yeah. already done? OK, we go. Beautiful. OK, and now the LAD diagonal in LAO cranial view. Are you ready? Maybe you can. Uh, sorry. OK, here. Picture. It's beautiful. Right, and, uh, it seems good. And the flow Excellent. in the. No, it's correct. It's correct. And you see, there is some disease in the, in yes, the circumflex. Um, there is some disease in the uh, right coronary artery. So. Uh, the story is not uh, finished. But uh, I think that uh, we can uh, maybe stop the procedure here, uh, look at this result. Uh, I think it's correct. And definitely, the size of the stented LED is larger than the, the left main. Eh? Definitely. Uh, so we realize that uh, we have the diffuse disease. OK, uh, so uh, I think that to summarize, uh, it was a good case uh, of bifurcation for a two-stent treatment, even if the patient uh, has a, you know, uh, a risk for bleeding with a necessity, the need to have uh, anticoagulation therapy because of atrial fibrillation. Indeed, in this particular case, with the long disease uh, on the diagonal branch, uh, it was really mandatory to place a long stent in the diagonal. So at the beginning, we hesitated between a tap technique or a, 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 a DK crash. 
but it's true that the decay crush was uh, normally uh, more simple to do it when you saw the difficulty. I'm not sure, but uh, it's true that uh, uh, in this particular case, if we do a tap technique, and we have, even after doing the pot inside the, uh, the main vessel uh, stand, uh, a very long stand could be sometimes difficult uh, to advance in the tortuosity and through the, the wire, uh, through the threads of the wire. So that's the reason why we uh, moved to the DK crash. It's true that there was a comment uh, that in this particular case, we could do a culotte technique. So we have the possibility of the the tap, the DK crush, the culotte for the double uh, stand strategy. And, uh, and then it's a matter of uh, patience uh, to follow uh, strictly the, uh, all the steps, and this is mandatory. You saw that I, I, I want to uh, 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 cut one, uh, avoid one step uh, when we place, uh, we leave the, uh, the, uh, non, the deflated uh, balloon uh, in the main vessel when we deliver uh, the first tent in the diagonal. And this, you saw, you pay the, uh, sometimes the, this, uh, uh, what we will see, the fact to do not respect strictly all the steps. And this will be the message. When you are doing this kind of uh, two-vessel strategy, we need to respect all the steps. Because when we want to gain some time, uh, and, and particularly this during live transmission, we know that uh, we have to finish on time. Uh, we want to do things a little bit simple. At the end, we, lose, we lost 10 minutes with uh, different balloons. Uh, so, message, respect the different steps. And at the end, finish by the pot, high pressure, uh, proximal to the bifurcation. And normally, you can achieve uh, this kind of uh, result. If I have any question, I don't know uh, if well, what is timing now. Yeah, uh, Jean, two, thank you very seven. much. So thank you very much Christoph. for this uh, excellent presentation, also and also of, of the steps. Thank you. Um, for okay, the, thank for you. the timing, we have still some five minutes, and uh, I would like to ask uh, in the panel if there are some remarks or questions they would like to address to you. Yeah. I think that if we have only five minutes, we can do the time to react directly from the cat. Like just only five minutes, and the patient is sleeping on the table, so we can do that. Uh, concerning the pot uh, uh, to facilitate the crossing of the wire, I think it's a very important technique, but we have to do it in the, really the right place, at a millimeter, not uh, more uh, before or after because if we do the pot uh, more than one millimeter before the bifurcation there is a risk to go in a strut uh, far from the bifurcation yeah, and sometimes it complicates a little bit the procedure other comment yeah yeah i fully agree i fully agree now there's one interesting question it's coming from the participants. It's important to know your, your yeah. capacity. There's one interesting question coming from the participants. It's important to know your material because the, the sh A question from the participants, which is uh, yeah. it, it, the radio compression which you now put on. How long do you keep it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, normally it's uh, five hours. <laughs> and uh, the nurse uh, in the department, we reduce the, the pressure regularly uh, every 20 minutes she uh, deflate a little bit and uh, cc by cc and uh, at the end five hours later uh, you know the, <coughs> the the balloon is totally flat and, and there's an additional question which which asks about the one month stool antiplatelet therapy because there is uh, some possibility with ultimaster also there are some data maybe you uh, one month yeah. is enough but how do you handle that um, you, 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 you do it always one month? No, you said you do it longer anyway, huh? No, no normally we, uh, we use uh, three months uh, of uh, triple therapy, and after three months, we come back to the double. In other words, one and the equivalent uh, tr uh, um, uh, uh, treatment plus uh, the Plavix. So I, I think we should state that one month is a possibility, but it's not something we should do in routine. It's a yeah, possibility absolutely. if we have to. Right? Important factor is also the complexity yeah, of the procedure. The, yeah. the, this is an interesting point because uh, 
you know, the, the, the concept of uh, one year, then six months, this is not uh, really uh, 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 belonging to, uh, uh, the, this is not supported by the data, because the data is coming from, uh, you know, uh, first generation of uh, drug routing stent, and now with the current generation, uh, we have not a study to show that uh, uh, to reduce to three or one month should be risky for the patient. I'm sure that it will not. And when we look really at the literature and the data <coughs> and which we support, particularly these gu guidelines for uh, uh, the, the, the long-term anti, anti therapy, today we can have some doubt. So yeah. this is another point, but uh, the technology has changes. The way to implant the standard changes, and uh, uh, I think that's what we need for biorosomal scaffold, for example, with a long, uh, uh, long duration of duantepa therapy, with the uh, last generation of uh, drug routing stent. Uh, I think that we could reduce safely. Maybe we need some data for that. But there is, it's always the balance between bleeding and and. Uh thromboembolic complications, but I think uh, for the time being in this particular setting of patients with atrial fibrillation, they are now on top of a Lancet paper, that's the Woost paper, two New England papers, it's Pioneer AF and Redual AF uh, PCI, where you, do, where yeah, you can become uh, yeah. comfortable with one anticoagulant and preferable a NOAC in combination with uh, antiplatelet therapy, one antiplatelet, single antiplatelet therapy. Absolutely. However, we should also yeah. take into account but the complexity no, uh, of the procedure. Difference the between one and three months. Eh? Of we course, it's patient-tailored. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we are just uh, in time yeah, uh, to finishing, and we would like to thank you very much again, Jean, for these wonderful presentations here. Um, thank that you. Was, has been a great session. Thank you. Very thank much. you. Thank you. Uh, See you tomorrow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of a very exciting session. We had two interesting life cases. We had a lot to discuss, and I would first like to thank all of you for discussing with us, also the panelists, and uh, uh, Tuta Rumo for making this session possible. I think we've seen that complex disease can be safely treated from the radial approach with modern material, with modern techniques, with modern knowledge. But we also heard from Jean, we saw it also, shortcuts, are not possible in these cases. We also need to follow the plan. Thank you very much.